All right, what's up, y'all? Today, I want to walk you through how you might go about escaping the WordPress ecosystem. So WordPress is a popular blogging and CMS system for the web, and I am the maintainer of Eleven D, a static site generator. So there's a lot of overlap between these two projects, and we've been running Eleven D since 2017. It's a very stable, well-established product. And today, I'm going to walk you through how to set up the Eleven D base blog project using 11D import. So import is a CLI tool that has extensions for WordPress. It will allow you to export all of your blog posts from WordPress easily into the 11D base blog project. As an example, I have the 11D base blog project running locally. This is what it looks like, pretty simple. But what we're going to do is run the 11D importer. And we're going to use this command, say just as an example, I have a WordPress blog at blog.funawesome.com and it looks kind of like this. It's great. It's got a post going back to August 2016. So we have a very extensive history on the Font Awesome blog. We want to export that into our base blog project. So let's go back to VS Code. We'll run this command, which is the 11D import CLI. We'll tell it it's a WordPress source. We'll point it to the homepage of the WordPress blog. We'll output every file that we're going to export into our content slash blog folder, which has our existing blog posts in our 11D base blog project, and then we'll tell it to collocate any asset references, so images, movies, CSS, or JavaScript files, uh, alongside any posts that it downloads. So we'll run that. You can see there's a lot happening here. There's a lot of posts that it's downloading, and it actually downloaded 143 uh, new blog posts from the Font Awesome blog, and 829 assets alongside that. So let's go ahead and run 11D base blog. You can see inside of here, it's downloaded a bunch of markdown files. So each blog post has been created as a markdown file and any images or assets that go along with that blog post have been saved in, in a co-located folder. So we have our base blog project running now. Let's go back and look at it in the browser. You can see it, we now have 148 posts here. Here's the latest one from November 27th of last year. And you can see all of the images and assets have been downloaded. Uh, if we scroll down to the bottom, we can scroll to the previous post. And animated GIFs are imported here. Everything's working great. So the nice thing about this setup is you can statically generate, still using WordPress as your CMS if you'd like, you can statically generate a version of your site you can host it anywhere you want. It doesn't have to be through WordPress. And you're basically decoupling your front end from WordPress, which gives you more control over the front end. It's gonna be less maintenance for you. There's less risk because there's no runtime server piece in your front end hosting. Again, you can keep using your CMS if you want to. Uh, you can run that importer script as many times as you want and it'll only download the new posts for you and create those new files. And your developers can continue to manage content inside of their version control, which is great. You don't have to rely on WordPress's proprietary revisions feature. So that's it. That's all you need to do. You can run one command and we'll download all of your WordPress blog posts, put them in the 11D base blog project, and you're off to the races. Hope it was useful and keep building for the web.